Hi, this is TR for Stagecoach Road Sewing Machine. Let's show you what we've got today. This is an aftermarket case for a very beautiful mid-century sewing machine, the Alden. Deluxe zigzag, made in Japan. Let's turn on the light here. Oh, nice Alden logo. We've got some like royalty looking stuff here, a crown. Looks like it could be part of a classic car. Look at these knobs and dials. I'm going to show you what all these are for. So we have the Alden Model 143 Deluxe Zigzag. Look at that V motif again. Really, really like the cars of the era. Great big chrome hand wheel on the side here. Bobbin winder. Not only does it look cool, it sews well. Let's just show you how that works. This is a class 15 manual zigzag. So it's not really a class 15 because class 15 never did a zigzag. So class 15 bobbin, which is the kind that has a lot of holes in it that you can get at any fabric store or sewing machine shop. Needles are also just a commonly available Singer or Schmitz or organ, whatever. Do yourself a favor, get good needles. Don't buy a nice sewing machine like this and then skimp on needles. Schmetz is one of my favorite brands for needles. Very good quality stuff. Let's put the needle in. Every needle has a flat side. On this machine, the flat side goes this way. Flat side. And tighten it up. Okay, now we're going to wind the bobbin, which means we have to undo the clutch. Wind the bobbin on this machine. And we'll put some thread right through this thread guide, which has three different thread holes. Lots of options for bobbin winding, twin needle sewing, heavier tension on the top. Look at this. Here's your bobbin tension disc. I'll take a hold. See it on the bobbin winder? Find that little spot where it clicks on. Push. We're not going to wind a whole bobbin for the demo. Just a little bit here. But if you do wind a full bobbin for your project, it will automatically click off when you're done. Let's take the bobbin, tighten that clutch back up so that we've got movement over here. This is a really, really nice, smooth feeling machine. Thread the bobbin case like this. Leave a few inches hanging off. Uh -huh. Now, take the thread down through your pizza plates, the tension there, two pizza plates sticking together. Let's see, under this hook, up through the take-up lever's eye. When I was a little girl learning how to sew, I thought this was the coolest part of the sewing machine. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay, down through here, little pigtail right before the needle. When you buy a sewing machine from Stagecoach Road Sewing Machines, you get a brand new Schmetz size 14 needle installed in the machine. There we go, thread the needle. Always turn the hand wheel towards you on this machine. Turn it towards you and pull up the lower thread. There you go. You got both threads on the top. And your zigzag means that the underneath part moves back and forth in time with the top part as they're zigzagging. Modern zigzag machines don't do that, only the needle swings. These old fashioned ones are really cool because of that synchronized movement. Because of that, in straight stitch position, the needle is to the far left. This is important if you want to buy a buttonhole attachment. You'll need to know your shank height and your needle position. The Alden is a high shank machine. What that means is at the foot, the distance from the bottom to the screw is a high shank. Machines also come in low shank and slant shank, which is a Singer thing, and also snap-on shanks, which are very modern. The Alden here is a high shank left needle zigzag. Okay, so if you're buying any. Uh, Attachments from outside sources, that's what you need to know. 
Your needle and your bobbin are standard stuff that you can buy at any sewing machine or fabric store. Class 15 bobbin, Singer and Schmetz needles. Okay, we're ready to sew now. Just a basic straight stitch. Let's take some of this camo fabric. It's a lightweight twill. Lower the press foot. This is your pressure on your foot here. You can push down for more pressure or push the ring to release pressure. We'll show you why you want to do that later. For now, let's push it down. Stitch length is over here. Zero. Not going to go anywhere. All the way up to five, which is a very long stitch. This machine being made in Japan in probably the late 50s or early 60s. The Japanese were already metric at that time, so that's five millimeters, four millimeters, three millimeters. What would correspond to a Singer 12 stitches per inch is two on this machine. Listen to how quiet and wonderful, oh my. Let's make a little bit longer stitch here. Nice. Reverse, right here. Has an R on it. Back tap. What a nice stitch. Such a smooth sounding machine. A beautiful balanced stitch there. Okay. Whenever you stop and you're going to take fabric out, stop with your take up lever all the way up. It'll never jam. Always leave about three inches. Draw them to the back ready to sew your next seam. Okay, let's try zigzag. Same fabric. Why would you want to use a zigzag? Well, usually when you're going to stitch something onto something else, mending, applique, a lot of different reasons. How do you get to a zigzag? Here's our zigzag width. Let's say we want, they have it in two here. Let's uh, loosen that one, lefty loosey. Loosen them both. Have it right there. And that locks it down. Select the width of the zigzag with this knob. Lock it where you want it here. It will remain the same in forward or reverse. Let's try. Got a nice zigzag stitch there. Same on the top and the bottom. The machine has a really nice balanced tension. Longer zigzag. Reverse. The machine is very mechanically smooth. Back to a straight stitch. We've zigzagged a while. Loosen those. And you're down to zero again. stitch. Not a problem for the Alden. It does really well on multiple layers of twill fabric. We'll also sew denim, leather. Look at this. This is a piece of bonded leather from a jacket. Kind of difficult stuff to sew. Let's throw a few layers under just to show you how the Alden will handle it. Push down that pressure. There's a lot of grip. Right on through. That's not even a leather needle, folks. That's just a regular size 14. And we've got great balance stitch. Wow. Let's thread for darning and free motion. We're going to use two of these holes here. This is like how I used to do it when I was working back in a sweatshop. <laughs> Let's go through the first one and then back through the second one. That gives us a little extra thread control and tension on the top. So now we've got our patch matic released, our darning foot down, and now we can just move it however we want. We make swirling everything. You better put a darning 
starting foot on. Remember, high bar machine for your Alden. But this is how you get like loopy loopy stuff. If you put fancy thick threads down in the bobbin, do it on the back, you would see that. A lot of that embroidered garments that you see nowadays are done that way. The Alden is a mid-century precision Japanese manual zigzag sewing machine. It can be yours from Stagecoach Road Sewing Machines.